Okay, welcome to Screencast Solution to problem number four from problem set part two. Calculate the ideal mechanical advantage of a lever is the first part of the problem. So again, I'm dispensing with the, all the parts of graphs just to try to save time here, make these short and sweet. So it's an ideal mechanical advantage problem. Let me write maybe a different color here. So ideal mechanical advantage of a lever. I'll look that up on my card and it says that it's the distance the force is put in whoops, over the distance the force comes out or is produced. So right away, as soon as I do that, I can look up here and I can see that these the forces that are given 10 newtons and 15 newtons are they're, they're really not important. They're not actually they're not important at all to the solving of this problem. What we need is the distance in. So this is calculate the mechanic, mechanical advantage of a lever if an input force of 10 newtons is applied 5 meters from the fulcrum. So it sounds like that's where the force is coming in is applied input force, so 5 meters distance in. And then an output force coming out now, distance must be distance out is produced 2 meters from the fulcrum. So if you can imagine here's our lever, there's our fulcrum where it's going to pivot. There's this 10 newton force being applied here. It's producing 15 newtons of force here. This distance is 5 meters and this distance is 2 meters. So there's our, our lever at work. Let's calculate the IMA. Be pretty straightforward. IMA is going to equal that distance in, which is 5 meters, divided by the distance out, 2 meters. Here's why there's no units for ideal mechanical advantage problems or mechanical advantage problems because the units cancel out. And 5 divided by 2 is, in fact, 2.5. So you get two and a half times the mechanical advantage using a lever that's apparently seven meters long. If you apply force at five meters from the fulcrum, you'll multiply that force two and a half times uh, if you use it uh, about two meters from the fulcrum or the pivot point. All right, that's it.